Hey, stupid, didn't you hear what I said? Don't tell me you're deaf too. I said room, now. Look here, you dumb little monkey. There are rules in this society. And one of them is that stupid people like you have to do what smart people like me tell them to do. <laughs> now go to your room before the rest of your brain stops working. Oh, hi, Devin. Oh, hi, Mrs. Seaman. How are you doing today? Please, call me tomorrow. Anyway, thank God you're here. I was a little worried that you weren't going to be able to make it uh, because of your college essays. Well, please, come on in. Oh, great. Thank you. Hey, David. Your babysitter's here. It's Devon. Hey, David. Um, by the way, I'm really sorry about that. I just had to finish those essays since I'm about to graduate college, so I can't really let anything get in the way of that. Well, I'm just glad that you were able to get it done. I don't know what I would have done without you. I got a late shift at the hospital and I can't leave David on his own in the apartment. He might hurt himself. Oh, yeah, by the way, what's the name of his condition? I'm sorry, I forgot. He was diagnosed with autism. I mean, he's just like any other boy, except he has a little trouble socializing and making emotional connections with people. Yeah, it must be really hard raising a kid like him. I personally don't know if I could ever do that. It is, but, well, I thank God every day for sending him to me. He's my ray of sunshine, and I wouldn't change a single thing about him. He's a special boy, but he's gonna do amazing things in this world. Yeah, but don't you sometimes wish that you would have gotten a normal kid? Normal? He is normal. In fact, I think he might be better than us. Do you know that he got perfect scores in all his high school exams? The teacher said that he was some kind of genius. Genius? Oh, well, I, I better go. I don't want to be late for work. Um, I've left $20 on the living room table, so y'all can order a pizza. Oh, and Devon, remember that David is allergic to meat, so no sausage or pepperoni or anything like that. Bye, baby. I love you so much. Please don't leave me, Mommy. Hey, hey, don't worry, baby. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna be gone for a couple of hours and I'll be back before you know it. Yeah, David, don't worry. Everything is gonna be just fine. You know, we can watch some of your favorite movies and even order some pizza. Please, Mom, don't leave. I'm scared. David, I promise that nothing bad is gonna happen to you. Let's make a deal. If you let Mom go to work, and then when I come back, I'll make your favorite pancakes for breakfast tomorrow. Does that sound good? You promise? Pinky promise. <laughs> All right, come on, David. Let's go take a look at your drawings. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, listen here, you autistic little loser. Here's the deal. You're gonna do everything I tell you to do and stay out of my way. And most importantly, don't cause any trouble. Now go to your room. But I thought we were going to watch my favorite movies and, and, and order pizza. I lied. I just said what your ugly mom wanted to hear. Don't even think about telling her any of this or I'm gonna hurt you and your little mommy. I, I don't understand. That's because you're stupid and slow. People like you don't deserve to be loved. Now go to your room and leave me alone. I have a bunch of girls that I have to message on Tinder. Most guys my age have been with 100 girls at least, and I've only been with 49, so I have a lot of catching up to do. Hello, Earth to David. You probably don't even understand what I'm saying, 
So let me spell it out for you. Okay, go to your room. R O O M. Hey, stupid, didn't you hear what I said? Don't tell me you're deaf too. I said room. Now, look here, you dumb little monkey. There are rules in this society. And one of them is that stupid people like you have to do what smart people like me tell them to do. Now go to your room before the rest of your brain stops working. Hey, Slowpoke, don't you know where your room is? Don't tell me you're slow and stupid. David was crying his eyes out. He was feeling depressed and alone. Everything that Devin had told him reminded him of the times he used to get bullied in school. He prayed that his mom would get back as soon as possible and save him from his nightmare. Mommy, please come up. Please. 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 Come up. Meanwhile, Devin was sitting on the couch getting busy sending messages to multiple girls, telling them to come over for a super easy lay. But as he was messaging back and forth with the girl, she sent him a text message with a link that was supposed to be for her nudes, but instead it was a virus. Devin's phone had been hacked and he received the message saying, got you, now I'm going to download all your X-rated videos and send them to your family and friends and hack into your bank account and take all your money. Devin was about to lose it all. The college of my dreams, everything is gone! No, if they find out about this... Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. It's not that bad, I'm pretty sure I can fix it. Oh God, my life is over, what am I saying? Oh God. I can't believe this happened to me! This is so stupid! Why me? Oh my god. Why? Why did I do that? I don't understand. Everything was going perfect and then this stupid thing happened. Hey Simpleton, what are you doing with my phone? Can't you see that someone hacked it? It's not gonna work. Do you hear what I'm saying? Is there anything going on in that empty head of yours? What are you doing to my phone? Oh my God, you fixed it. But how? I like computers. But aren't you dumb? Not really. It's a common misconception, actually. Just because someone has autism doesn't mean they're less intelligent than people who don't. But why did he help me? Especially after how I treated you. You really didn't have to. Well, my mother taught me to treat everyone with kindness and respect, no matter how bad they treat you. Because you can change people by showing them love and not hate. I'm so sorry, David, for all those bad things I did to you. I let my ignorance of your condition get the best of me. Would you ever find it in your heart to forgive me for all those things I said and did? Sure. Friends? Friends forever. <laughs> so let's get a sausage pizza. I <laughs> got you, and I'm just kidding. Of course, I didn't forget about your meat allergy. Uh, cheese it is. After that day, Devin came over every weekend to play with David and was always available when Mrs. Tamara needed a babysitter. Devin and David became really good friends. It's really important to educate yourself about these types of conditions. You should never judge people based on harmful stereotypes. Everyone is a human being and we all should be treated with kindness and respect. 
Don't forget to share this video with all your friends and family. And also don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place one story at a time.